Stephanie, what are you doing? I told myself I would get on the treadmill to not mess up and for perfect. Even if I can't do the free full 5K, I've got to come up and at least move on the treadmill because I don't normally do it for at least 20. All right, here is what I heard. I heard, I heard my husband listening to a message. I like my hair. I heard my husband listening to a message sometime last week doing stuff around the house. And the only part that I heard I don't even know who it was, was the man was saying, hey, I think sometimes we can get so caught up in wanting our day, our workout, our work schedule, something to look a certain way. And if we can't do it that way, we won't do it. He's like, for example, working out. Like we want our workouts to be a certain way, but guess what? You're not always gonna have the best workout or maybe exactly what you're wanting to, but a workout can be free wherever you go at any point in time because you it's you, your body, and doing something. So he's like, even if it's 20 minutes versus an hour, 10 minutes versus 30 minutes, like do something. So that's what I'm doing today. Seriously, the phrase don't mess up good for perfect should be adapted into your vocabulary. And I just shared something. Uh, the phrase was priorities are never in conflict. So like my priorities today were help our children straighten up the upstairs, give them high directive on cleaning their bathroom, helping them through the process so next time they can do it themselves. My priority was to get on the treadmill and then I need to get ready and then I'm going to do a live. But I, I was like, man, I've already wasted enough time vacuuming and helping the girls. Maybe I should just go get ready. And I thought I for sure can hop on the treadmill and do at least 20 minutes. There's no reason why I can't. So. Those are my priorities. I already had them set in my mind. I could have easily made an excuse. Then I said, I'm not gonna mess up good for perfect. And I'm doing the things that I wanted to do. And listen, if you have not listened to that podcast by Craig Rochelle, go listen to it. All right, I just did a live talking about the difference between our 60 hour keto reboot and our intermittent fasting kit. Or if you're like, listen, I don't wanna fast, but I need something. I just did a live talking about how to get started, how to help you on your journey, some different options for you. So you should check it out. All right, so we are going to a gala. Maybe you say gala. I think gala sounds weird. And, um, you know what's wild is I didn't <laughs> I didn't plan anything. I just pulled out a dress from the closet and now I just thought, shoot, if I have any shoes. Okay, we're ready for the gala in not the dress that I was supposed to wear because it didn't fit. A booty too big. <laughs> CrossFit enhanced a part of my body. <laughs> it does not fit. That's why we're going to this gala. But we're gonna gala, have fun. Gala. And there's a red dress that was just hiding gala. in the, and she's beautiful. She's got black on. And we've got blue. These two are going to a birthday.